What's happening folks? Are you ready for some serious real estate wisdom? Today, we're tackling the top five mistakes sellers are making when they sell their property. Let's save you some heartache, but especially some cold hard cash. So mistake number one, overpricing your home. You think your home's the best on the block and it deserves top dollar and I get it. But listen, if you price it too high, it's gonna sit on the market and buyers will think something is wrong with it. For instance, if homes in your area or comps in your area are going for $500,000 and you list at $600,000, you're just setting yourself up for failure. All right, mistake number two, neglecting repairs. I mean, we've all got a little bit of home maintenance backlog and I get it, but you can't afford to let these slide when you're selling. A leaky faucet, a crack in the wall, it might seem like small minor things to you, but for a buyer, it screams, I don't care about this house. And if you want to get top dollar, that's not the impression you want to give to a home buyer. Now, mistake number three, ignoring staging and presentation. Now this goes a long way. You may love your eccentric decor, but buyers need to be able to visualize themselves being in your home. Get rid of that bright pink wall and go neutral. Declutter, make it clean, make it smell fresh, make it a blank canvas, but also cozy and inviting. Mistake number four, getting emotional. It's natural to get attached to your home and to see all the memories and be attached to those when selling. But remember, this is a business transaction, folks. So when a buyer offers you 475 instead of 500, which is your asking price, don't take things personally. It's business. Negotiate, negotiate the best deal for you. Last but not least, mistake number five, going FSBO. What does that mean? Going for sale by owner without preparation. Selling your home isn't as easy as putting it on Facebook marketplace, folks. It's a complex legal process. If you're not ready to deal with the negotiations, the contracts, the due diligence, the paperwork, the showings, the follow-ups, et cetera, et cetera, apart from doing the marketing, well, I mean, you need an expert in your corner. Hire a professional. If you're finding this info useful, folks, please let me know by hammering the like button. Maybe consider subscribing to our channel where we share all the real estate insights that we can about our local real estate market. By the way, what questions do you have? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to get more info out to the community as possible. And there you have it. That was five mistakes that can wreck your real estate sale. But knowledge is power, right? Well, avoid these blunders and you're not just safeguarding your sale, you're maximizing your profit. See you next time.